Hello. Hello there, I'm Gargamel, evil wizard. Uh, welcome to my crib. Gargamel. Gargamel! Garbage smell. I am crazy. I'm a kazumble. Nothing. Cheap thing. <laughs> Hank Azaria is Gargamel. I mean, he just did a, an amazing, amazing job. He's unbelievable. What a weird role to take on, you know, because it's iconic in a two-dimensional way, so you have to make it three-dimensional. Everyone knows that Hank does amazing voice work, but the little subtle things that he does with the way that he runs and his postures and his hands and... Basing this character strictly off of a cartoon, but it's become so much more than that. Especially because he's the only cartoon character that really comes to life in a human form. I was highly aware of the Smurfs, and uh, to be honest, I found Gargamel annoying. I, I didn't like the character, and I was a big Paul Winchell fan. And they sent the script, and I had very specific ideas about how to make him funny and like the character from the cartoon, but but different in certain ways that I would find less annoying and hopefully funny. And action! Unhand me! Unhand me, heathens! Or suffer the wrath of the great and powerful guard your mouth! Ow, 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 ow. It's not like he thinks he's good. Uh, he's evil and uh, pretty proud of it. Gargamel's kind of a delightful character because he's, he is the... He's, the He's, bad guy that you that you kind of love too, and he thinks power is the root to being loved, and there's something kind of endearing about that. Oh, I love emerging dramatically through the smoke. Gargamel's also very theatrical. Not only does he want to be a, an effective wizard, he wants to be worshipped and considered a genius, and he wants all that good press. There was a big debate over what the voice should be. We had in mind probably a slightly more Shakespearean Gargamel. Sort of like this and self-important and as if he was an old stage actor. I remember at one point he, him saying, well, the problem is if I do that, then I'm here the whole time. And I don't want to be just here the whole time. I want to be able to go here and here. And they were like, okay. I also had just done, I just done that at the museum where I thought of did a Bordeth Carlaw thing. But I'd thought of felt I did a thought of flowery over the top. British kind of thing, and I just didn't want to do that again. I sort of saw him more like this, sort of more. I don't know, it just, to me, he seemed more like an immigrant on the outside of things, and I wanted him to be, instead of yelling all the time, more sarcastic. And to me, sarcastic sort of lent itself to this, rather than, you know, if you're sarcastic this way, it doesn't quite sound as biting. I to say, hey, yes, you're great, get away from me. That sounds... <coughs> funnier to me. I'm sorry, is my thinking interrupting yeah. your vile hacking? So I originally saw him more low-key and sarcastic, but in the end, you can't play Gargamel without screaming your head off. <laughs> Just the second you see a Smurf, you, you have to lose your mind, or you're not Gargamel. <laughs> oh, this is a lovely feature. Let's take a look at this. This is a little, uh, it's like a little electric chair that I put the Smurfs in, and it's a hobby of mine. I, can st I create objects that are little torture devices, and I imagine Smurfs in them. Like, this was good for me for a whole Saturday night. He did such an amazing job, shaved his head, every morning went through two to three hours, exactly mimicking what was in the books and the cartoon. So I start my day getting shaved by two men. You see what happens when I try to shave myself. <laughs> my feeling was we should try to just approximate the cartoon image as closely as possible. That's what I would want to see. This is the ear portion. Mm -hmm. It starts with uh, ears. Gargamel has big old ears. Then there's a big old nose. The nose uh, often, uh, it can easily go on crooked. And the Gargamel looks like he's a member of the, uh, the Wizard Mafia. And uh, then there's a lot of painting. I really feel like an 86 Honda or something. It's like being spit on for about 20 minutes. <laughs>
pretty great. <laughs> and then they apply the strange monkish hair. Well, nobody has this hairstyle anymore. Nobody does. Used to be a lot of guys. Because everybody shaves it off now. Yeah. And then the eyebrows come on. The eyebrows really make this thing. Liver spots. Liver spots? Mm hmm. I insisted on them. Getting close now. Gargamel is almost in the hizzy. So this is pretty much Gargamel. Once the teeth go in, it's like, okay, here we go. You see? And then we, uh, then we get Gargamel. I don't know why I need the teeth for the voice, but it, 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 what happens? <laughs> Asriel? Are you dead? Asriel is uh, Gargamel's sidekick, his little tomcat. And Asriel, I think, pretty much gets that Gargamel's an idiot most of the time. A la kazoo! Ow! Great. <laughs> he gorgeous, Asriel. You're a boy? I wanted to make the relationship with the cat, with Asriel, more like a married relationship. A little more like married bickering. Hey, but don't go crazy. These are the only puppets I have. One thing I don't like about villains in general is when they make evil pronouncements to no one. I shall become the most powerful wizard in all of the world. <laughs> but you have a cat there. If you're talking to the cat, it makes sense. <laughs> His voice is the voice of Frank Welker, who um, is famous in this world of doing animal voices. So he got some very funny reactions for Azriel. <laughs> I work with many versions of cats. There's often a real cat, and there's four different real cats. Then there's sometimes just nothing, a cat that will be CGI'd later. Then at times there's a cat that's there, but his face is going to be animated later. So we get all versions of cats. For the most part, we used a real cat. I guess a tabby, you'd say, sort of orange and stripes and, and kind of tough. Cats are really hard. They're different than dogs. They don't even want to go from here to there. Um, so it's a real problem. And action. How to find the Smurfs. If only I... What, what? Camera thing. With a dog, they're so energetic, and they just aim to please, and they love the attention, and they love the people, and they're just happy to be there. With a cat, it's like, you know what? I don't really want to be a part of this. And it's like, you try to convince them and make them comfortable and build their confidence up, and then hopefully, at the end of the day, you're getting pieces that you need to tell the story. Young woodsman, what does the temperature of this lily have to do with the finding of Smurfs? Take your meds, man. What? He was running around New York City, and people go, hey, Gargamel. I mean, there's just like no doubt that this guy was Gargamel. He has the lion's share of work to do on the movie. He's the one in the harnesses, and he's the one on the green screens, and he's the one in all the crazy sets. So I can't think of anyone better for the role than him. It's amazing to see him come in at the beginning of the day and to see what he's like and to see what he looks like. And then in a couple hours, he comes out of the makeup room and he's a completely different person. You out, paparazzi. <laughs> Tired of this. Everywhere I go, you dog me. <laughs> and, I, and I am best friends with a cat. You know, it was, just, it was a challenging role for Hank and he just, he just brought the fun in. That was fantastic. I'm good to walk away. Very good. Yeah? Good. Uh, Check the gate. Cuba. Dude, that was so cute. We couldn't have asked for a better cargo. Brought the movie alive. It's really gotten back to being something that's, I think, very similar to the car. Please, 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 allow me. Ah, it's Gargamel! But in the end, you know, Gargamel is Gargamel, I have discovered. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, great having you. I'm so glad that you could stay a spell. <laughs> you get it? A spell, because I'm a sorcerer. Anyway, seriously, get out now. Get out. Get out.